Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunstar Heroes on Normal again! This time around we are playing Black's Dice Maze for the second time after beating Captain Orange on his airship. And this is the most fun stage out of the four that you can pick from in any order at the beginning of the game. Because, well, you'll see. First, we gotta get to the maze. And in order to do that, we're gonna need to make our way through here. We're gonna, obviously gonna have to get past this thing first, this little gunning machine that is shooting at us. Thankfully, throwing guys at the machine will get rid of it a lot more quickly. And if you would stop doing that, that would be great. Now we need to just get our way up here. And we don't necessarily need to get past this guy. We don't really need to fight him. Though I destroyed him anyway. And we just need to get over here. Now we just need to fight the Grey Phantom. Yes, I remember what the guy's name is. You do get to see this guy's name in the Dice Maze if you're lucky. And we get some health, which we will definitely need. Only lost 31 hit points, but we are now at the Dice Palace. And from here, you just grab the dice with B, or the die with B, and you have any number between one to three that you can land on. The number you land on is the number of spaces you travel on the dice palace, in the dice maze. And the one that you see right there, like right there, we just rolled a three, so we're gonna go three spaces. You may get some of the things that I land on, you may not. Now here we face Timuron. Timuron has a 10 second timer. And when it counts to 10, all the bombs that it shoots at you and the explosions that come from them eventually start playing out in reverse. This is why you wanna keep your distance with Timuron at the beginning. And when the timer goes to 10, that's when you wanna start shooting at it. Easy boss when you know what to do. So let's see here. Well, we got a lot of fight tiles. Those give us a lot of mini boss fights that we can go through. We roll the one. And sometimes they give us maces like this one. Here, for rush and go, Al, I do not want you near me. Stupid fireball, go away. You want to hit these little orbs on the wall so that way you can open a path to the goal. The color that the orb is will dictate which color walls will not be appearing. So you just want to me mess with the colors until you get to where you need to go. And the further, or rather the faster you get to where you need to go, which is the goal, the more points you're going to get. We've rolled another one. We've got another fight to do. And this time it's the minion soldier. It's this tiny dude and he does pack a punch you want to watch out that thing that little sparkle does pack a punch you do not want that to hit you wall jump whenever necessary thankfully you can jump towards a wall press C and then you'll jump off the wall stop thankfully I have this No, he, he, he kind of did that to me. And he's doing that to me. Oh, boy. Yeah, he is not as easy as you would think he is. Because he just comes right after you. Minion Soldier does not play around. Thankfully, I have a weapon that causes an explosion that also causes damage. All right, I'm gonna drink some tea, then I'm gonna throw the die again. One, two, three. Which fire are we gonna get this time? And we have Pit. We need to destroy all these things. We need to destroy all these balls. 
while this Pong paddle expands and contrasts. Thankfully, when you have a weapon like mine, force plus fire, it's really easy because of the splash damage from the explosions. And now we have one. What fight will this give us? Ah, this maze. Thankfully, this one is really easy. We can just wall jump our way to the end. This one is really quick. Given you know what to do here. You could probably do this faster than I can. And now, we have this last stretch. There's a space with a gun with a no symbol across it, and uh, as well as the way back, which makes you start all, all the way over in the dice palace. I don't, I don't want to land on that final space. We do have one of the taken item spots, and in these, you can pick up any items that you may need, including health, which I will definitely need. And you get nice little graphical effects going on in the background there. I do like that. And they're different between the taken the three taken item rooms. So check them all out if you can, I guess. And do I get three? I get three, which means I get to show off curry and rice. That's what the no gun symbol takes you to. Now, you can only punch. You cannot use your gun. And you have to dive into curry and rice by double tapping C when he's moving towards you. You can't do it when he's doing that punch. You can't do it when he's doing that somersault. So you've got to be careful what you're doing. Now, he's just doing that little leap with the splits. You're okay. Yeah, those signs there say use of fire strictly prohibited. You cannot shoot Korean rice. And while you can press B to punch, the punch is absolutely useless here. Why am I taking damage? There we go. If I die, I'm doing this all the way over, and I am not showing all this again. Unless I get new stuff. Please give me a three. Okay, this is the third of the Taken Item Rooms, and we have more items that we can use. We have two weapons and two health. 58, I can do 58. But please, please, don't give me a one. I do not want a one. Please don't give me a... Yes, thank you, game. Because if I landed on the way back, I would have had to start this whole maze over. Now, if I landed on a clear space, I wouldn't have to do that space ever again. So, the second time around will be a little bit faster than the first. But still, I don't want to go through that. And now we're going to face the black beat stepper. The different colored tiles that beat will, or black will land on will dictate which attacks we get. There's black. And then a, then a die will pop up. It landed on two. We're going to get two, move two spaces. There is a red fireball. We do not going to get hit by that fireball. Okay. Landed on two. Which, which one's going to... Nope. Yeah, that's the green one. You just want to avoid all the green balls there. That's all you want to do. One two, three. Which one's gonna... Okay. For the blue attack, you just want to stay away from the blue tile so that way you don't get hit by bombs or their explosions. And there is the green attack again. I believe the yellow one has like a lightning bolt that will travel, travel across the room. But we're not gonna see it because I've destroyed the dude. I forgot what yellow did. Oh well. But when you beat Black, he will throw this at you. Don't touch it, it explodes. Just shoot him, he'll give you the real gem. Thankfully we're going to move up to it, so that way we can get it. 
Hey. Help me. Okay. Thanks. While you were away, the Empire came and kidnapped Yellow. Ha ha ha. If you want to save Yellow, come to me with all the gems. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice. But that's if you can get to me alive. We must obey him. Please save Yellow. And that guy has a name, but I will not remember what it is until the next video. From here on out, we're on rails. And we have no choice over where we go. This is where the game gets interesting. Join me next time, where we have to trade all the gems for Yellow's life. And hopefully not get horribly tricked. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!